Good morning, and welcome back to Asgard, and welcome to episode 35 of our Infotech 2 modded Minecraft Let's Play series. I want to go ahead and start off by saying that I do apologize that this episode's late coming out. Um, some of you may already know I've been really busy um, setting up a Skyrim Let's Play series. For those of you that are interested, uh, it's going to be a modded series mainly focused on like content and stuff, um, and making sure it runs smooth and whatnot. Um, and it's almost done. I have a few little tweaks to do, but there should be a video coming out um, today around the same time as this, probably. Fingers crossed. Of course, you know, if you've ever modded out Skyrim, you know it can be kind of finicky. Um, but I've actually been running, um, let's see, last night I didn't sleep. The night before that I did sleep. And then the night before that I didn't sleep. So I've just been kind of sleeping every other day um, to try to keep up with the videos and get that Skyrim series done. But it's almost ready to go. Um, and I've actually been very busy on this series. That's another reason why this is running kind of late. Because I've actually done a whole lot. Um, actually in here, I've got this set up so that we can just throw whole stacks of stuff in here. Um, I've been throwing annealed co or copper in there. I've been throwing iron to make steel. And I've been throwing aluminum in there. And... Um, I've actually got the oxygen creation turned off at the moment because if I run the automatic oxygen and this at the same time, um, I did notice that our tank actually starts dropping uh, fairly decent speed too. Actually running just this does drop it slowly, um, but not too, too fast. And I just made some, yeah, those haven't charged. Um, and I switched them out for the charged ones um, because we're going to need these today. If you notice, my inventory is already jam-packed full of crap, but uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, and I've fixed our steam issue. I actually have three pipes pumping into this, and it's keeping field. I have the same setup over here for the advanced steam turbine. I have one pumping into this basic steam turbine for now, and then I've got two pumping out into advanced steam turbines up here which I actually had one of these set up, um, not as ideal as it is now. I'll show you uh, how I've set the system up. It's something I came up with. I was trying to figure out how to fix our steam issue, and originally I was thinking about going to the Greg Tech pipes, but I was playing around in a creative world and came up with a really neat setup for it. Um, but anyway, up here, I had a couple of these machines last episode. I can't remember if I uh, came over here towards... Hey, what are you doing in here? Anyway... I can't remember if I came in here towards the end of the episode, but I ended up setting up an advanced forming press and an assembling machine because we needed those to make our uh, uh, golem core last episode. But since then, I've also built an alloy smelter, electric furnace, macerator, extruder lathe, bending machine, and wire mill. And I've got a spot here open. That's actually where I'm going to stick the polarizer. Um, and I figured, you know, that setup we had over at the other base, or, you know, at the home base, it worked for the time, but really going forward, that setup is horrible, and I don't, you know, I don't want to keep it, and it's just a mess. So I've been, like, kind of planning out how I want to lay out the machines. Um, so hopefully over the next few episodes, we'll get um, MV levels of all the machines set up um, for those around in there and maybe, you know, off a little bit. And we're also going to be setting up a just a basic auto processing system um, because I think we're at the point. I mean, we can't make the macerators, the universal macerators yet because they require HV, but we can still set up, you know, a temporary uh, ore processing system. And I think that would really help us because my problem is a lot of times I'll go mining and I don't feel like messing with sorting through all that stuff. But if we have a way to auto process it, that would really, really help out um, as far as time and, and keeping up on materials. Because um, usually I just process basically just what I need, unless it's like iron or copper or something that I know I'm going to need, you know. <clears throat> um, and so the way I have this set up so that we're keeping full of steam, and it's, it's so nice, is I'm actually using uh, open blocks tanks. And I've got them connected up over here, and um, I also have them connected up over here to this, uh, to the boiler. And I just have them laid out almost like our piping system because then I can run that over there and use just that one to extract on multiple sides and there's no limit to how much, you know, that it can it can send out there we go. Um, at a time. 
So it definitely, definitely makes things easier. And they're actually really, really cheap. Just four pieces of obsidian and um, four pieces of obsidian and then five pieces of uh, glass panes will get you two of those um, open blocks tanks. So, oh, let's open them. <clears throat> but yeah, just like that. And you can sort through here, but it's the exact same recipe. Um, very, very cheap in comparison to trying to run multiple lines of pressurized fluid conduits or even the Greg Tech pipe, stuff like that. It's so much easier <laughs> that way. Kind of cheap, I think, in a way, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. It definitely fixes our, our issues with that. Um, and I've been, I can't remember if I said, but I've got the oxygen system turned off right now. Well, technically this is still like trying to run or no it's not no it's not because I have the these set to extract never mind um, because it can't run all of that and not run out of steam um, even this by itself is pulling a little bit more than what we're making um, but it's bearable so but it's nice because I can just come in here and throw a whole stack of iron a whole stack of you know whatever in there and it's gonna process without any issues um, and I did actually have to repair our mining or our uh, tree cutter again. Um, I actually had to repair him and use up two of our diamonds with that, which was kind of terrible because then I had to turn around and make diamonds to make machines. Um, but he had actually ran totally out of durability and was just driving around, so uh, definitely wasn't ideal. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead <coughs> and jump into what we're going to do today. And, oh, by the way, before I forget to mention, um, I noticed this when I was testing in the creative world. If you want to do the steam tanks or the open blocks tanks method, you do want to make sure that your tanks are all level. Because I originally had set up a design where they kind of came up to kind of mimic, I was going to have them just pump straight into the open blocks uh, tanks and then come up and around. Um, but when I did that, these at the top would cap out at like 800 steam or something instead of the 8,000 that they can hold. Um, they just quit accepting any more steam. So um, I'm assuming it has to do with the gravity or something. It just wouldn't take any more. So just a heads up on that. Um, that's why I've got them all level all the way across. So anyway, I've got the stuff together. Well, I don't have it all on me. Let me run over here, and we're going to build the last couple pieces. I had it running over here because I didn't want to use steam over there um, right this second because I was processing some more aluminum because after this episode, I want to build more machines. I don't know why it's kind of chugging. I think it when I, when I run my computer for like days on end, I think that causes that, so I do apologize. Um... But, uh, and I hope once the, the Skyrim series comes out, I hope you guys enjoy it. For those of you that are interested in, uh, in like modded Skyrim, um, let's see, my inventory is horrible right now. Um, grab that, put that in there. I made up some drums because, um, I did a bit of reading on the, oil rig and apparently we'll, we have a chance to get multiple types of oil so I went ahead and made up some drums so that we can we can kind of set those up for the different kinds of oil uh, I think this is all processing yeah more sphalerite I was making cadmium uh, I've got I had finally got enough for these but uh, I figure can't have too much of that at this point in the pack um, go ahead and eat that real quick. So let's see, we're going to need these iron plates and we're also going to need these steel rods. So I just ran a stack of each because um, it seemed like the best idea. Um, oh, by the way, I did go ahead and make the eight solid machine casings because I figure we're going to need them. Um, let's see. Because if you recall, it completed that for us at four 
instead of the full eight. I don't know why I did that, but I went ahead and made the eight that we needed. But we're going to get these steel frame boxes, this mining pipes, and the oil drilling rig. So the steel casings, if I recall, it is the wrench. Yep. And we'll go ahead. We need 15, but we got to get 16. So. <coughs> and then the um, for that we need <coughs> tree taps. So no, nope. always get that backwards. So it's like this. No, I'm wrong. What's the recipe for the mining pipes? Oh, tree tap at the bottom. Okay. Okay. And if I recall, we need like eight, yeah, eight crafts of these. So, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. Let's throw all this into here. Um, <clears throat> that I don't actually need anymore. And I'll tell you what we'll do actually since all of these XACTs are like filled up with junk I've got one down here the one I use for making the uh, the Z-tones and stuff let's see we'll do this oh wait I'm gonna want this first let's get one Oh, well, that'll be fine. And we'll do this, because I know we're going to need, like, most of those anyway. And, okay. We got more than what we needed for the quest, but that's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. And then the last thing we're going to need is this oil drilling rig, which, let's see, we're going to need a book that. I've already got the ink made up. That's why I had all those ink sacks on me. I was making up the ink. Okay. Let's say I know I've got some leather around here somewhere. I know I've got a horrible <laughs> inventory situation too. Um, let's throw, actually let's throw that in there. And, oh there it is. Some paper. I know I had some paper laying around here somewhere. Um, we will be getting all this sorted, though, fairly soon. Like I said, I want to set up an ore processing system, and I think once that time comes, it'll be about time to sort things. So I do apologize about uh, the situation here so far. So we're going to need that and the oil drilling rig. And we'll just set this up there. I didn't mean to drain all of it, but oh well. I feel like eventually we should just make separate assemblers for like all the liquids or something. Um, okay, so we got that. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to claim that. Um, this... We can take a quick scan through this, but I've already kind of read through it. I'm going to bring it with me because I know I'll end up forgetting the layout. Um, let's tell you what. Let's throw all this shit on the ground. Claim our material bag. Let's bust that sucker open. We got lithium. I'll take it. And for right now, I'm just going to stick it in here. I need to get the bees set back up fairly soon because those would actually really, really help. Um, so now we got that book, and we've opened up quests here for heavy oil, raw oil, and light oil. So he wants to get 5,000 heavy oil, 5,000 raw, 5,000 light. <clears throat> which from what I understand these oil rigs when you set them up it's gonna be a fairly good sized area um, that it's gonna cover 
Uh, it's like 96 blocks wide and basically it's going to go ahead and like 96 by 96 if I recall um, the book will probably tell us yeah there we go 50% uh, of them are empty the others have a chance of 12.5% to contain natural gas light oil oil and heavy oil oil sources do not vary in the amount of oil contained but rather the speed it can be pumped out <clears throat> um, but anyway, they'll eventually stop getting oil, so we're going to have to keep an eye on it and move it and everything. Um, and I, I read that eventually, once you get up to HV power, you can actually set up a way to um, scan areas so you know kind of where to uh, set up your oil rig. But at the moment, we're not going to be able to do that. So, so this is at Y level 74. I was hoping for something a little bit lower, but I'll tell you what we might do. Let's mark here as oil rig. Oh, I should have brought some rope ladders with me. And we'll just kind of dig down a little bit. Um, because it's going to use one of those mining pumps, or mining, yeah, mining pumps, um, for each Y level that it goes down, so, we're just going to kind of dig it down a little bit. We've got a jetpack, so I guess we can just fly out of here. Actually, we could probably jump on the top of this thing and then go with that. I'd say 62 should be fine. Which I know we got some spare pipes, but uh, we may as well dig down a little bit to help it out. Alright, so we'll lay it out right here. It's getting night. And let's see, for the bottom layer, 3x3 three three solid steel casings. Controller goes in the middle of one side. It also needs an energy hatch, maintenance hatch, and output hatch. So, <coughs> okay, I don't want that. We'll set the controller there. We'll set the maintenance hatch up here, I guess. We'll set the output hatch here and we're gonna set which I went ahead and made MV versions of all of them so and what are we missing the what the energy hatch <gasps> I forgot to grab it and I forgot to grab the battery buffer okay actually before we go out there let me go ahead and sleep because I know it's night I can't believe I forgot to grab those. Because if you recall, we had actually made extras when we were... Um, oh, the speed's killing me. Um, which actually, uh, Real KC suggested for the cloud, we can just make a cloud in a bottle. Um, so we'll have to do that at some point. We'll go the expressway. Um, so we may actually do that at some point, I should think. But we made extras of these when we were setting up the, uh, trying to set up the blast furnace, if you recall. Because I set those up and had like transformers and battery buffers and all that mess. <clears throat> Made too much of those, but <clears throat> that is perfectly fine at this point. Like the vertical and horizontal speed of this thing is not bad at all. Alright, so we'll set the energy hatch up there. And then I think what we'll do is we'll just set up our... You know, I kind of wonder if, just thought about it, I wonder if the battery buffer could, could hook directly into it like that.
I don't know. I have no clue. And then put like the, uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. Okay, it was just giving it some basic energy there. And then we just need our solid steel casings, like this. Then I believe they go up the middle here, like that. And then we're going to need a bunch of these. Yeah, they do. <coughs> and then it's just three on the sides. Like that. And that. Because I went ahead and spent a, spent a while reading about this, like on the wiki and stuff. Um, so I had a better idea once we started the episode. Oh yeah, we can just climb right out of there. And we should... Now be all set. Now we've got a bunch of stuff here. Let's see. Pipe is loose. I'll never remember all of these. Pipe is loose is the wrench. And screws are missing. Something stuck. Screwdriver and hammer. And that. No, it must be soft hammer then. Okay. Circuitry is burned out, I know, is the soldering iron, and that doesn't belong there. Is the crowbar. Okay. So I've got some soldering alloy there. I didn't take any soldering alloy. Wonder why. Okay. Um, and then the crowbar. Circuitry's burned out steel. Will not use the alloy wire. No. Okay. All right. Well, give me one second. I'm gonna run back to the base. And then I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, welcome back. Um, I forgot. Um, Jason had told me to run them through the wire mill is the best way to do it. Because you'll get this uh, fine soldering alloy wire. And that, if I recall, does work with the soldering iron. So I know I think like the ingots or... I can't remember what we used last time. I remember we wasted a bunch of it. Uh, cause I just kept clicking. I was like, I don't know what to do, but, um, he had commented and said we could use that. So let's give that a shot. There we go. Now it consumes some of it <clears throat> and there we go. We are all set. So let's smack it with the soft hammer now. And it's running perfectly. We should see this in a minute. Oh, that's right. We have to um, put some of these mining pipes in there. Yeah, there we go. So it's dropping those. And this does seem to be working. Oh, man, that's not going to last very long. I can already tell. Now this is going to go all the way down to bedrock before it starts doing anything. So, and chunk loading, it's not really going to be an option, I don't think. I mean, I guess I could set one up and then run like a stack of charcoal over here every so often. But, um, I don't know. Maybe, though, it may not be actually too far from the base now it, sh it should be all right it should be loaded at least while I'm in the base um, let me see do I have any more 
liquid conduits on me. Okay, I do. I still got a bunch of those. I forgot I even had these on me. Sometimes I forget that cape is a thing. Um, from time to time. So let's bring this out a little bit. It's out of power. I knew it was getting low. Um, so we'll just hook that in there. We'll say this extract's always active. go and this is gonna take a m minute before it starts doing anything yeah so I'll be back in a second once it reaches bedrock and we'll see it run okay welcome back um, it's pretty close to hitting the bottom and I went ahead and mined down I wanted to show you you can actually see the mining pipe running down there looks like it hits something there and it should be it may already be at the bottom actually yeah, it looks like it is. So, it'll take it a minute. We should start seeing, um, there, oh, there we go. We got natural gas drum. So, it's got, found some natural gas. These are just about done. But, now that it's hit the bottom, you know, it's not going to have to do that anymore. So, that's a plus. What we got here? We got nothing. More natural gas. May actually have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go switch these out. So, um, I'm gonna make a quick run and go switch out these batteries for the other ones. I have to sleep really, really quick. Actually, yeah, I want to sleep on this. Okay. Um. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going to run over and um, get some new batteries, switch these out, and um, then I'll be back in just a second. Okay, welcome back. Um, so I grabbed those batteries, and we should, maybe in a minute, see that um, get some other uh, liquid. Now, that natural gas... What can we use that for? Uh, oh, making hydrogen sulfide and refinery gas. Hmm. And gas turbine fuel. Okay. So we can make that hydrogen sulfide and refinery gas. So we might as well. I mean, we'll hold on to it. I'm sure there's... Yeah, we can make LPG, which um, should be able to be used in making or using stuff from Pneumatocraft. Um, I know you can turn LPG into plastics um, with Pneumatocraft's refinery, maybe. Carbon. Okay, maybe it doesn't work that way with this pack. Yeah, but anyway, we can make all these wild-sounding liquids, so we should be all right. Oh, we're still finding just a bunch of natural gas, which it did say 50% of them are going to be empty, and then 12% are going to be uh, natural gas. So let's see. Let's pull that up. Yeah, 50% are empty. The others have a chance of 12.5% to contain natural gas. Light oil, oil, heavy oil. So you get 12.5% for each one. But I know when I was reading, um, they said you may just find areas that are nothing but natural gas. So it kind of just depends. And, there, and if you mine down there, there's not actually any physical liquid that you're going to find. Um... Oh, it almost seems like it's done. It's already done what it can. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe it needs a place to put this before... No, that's not the case. 
Huh. Okay, so maybe it's done already, so I'll just have to pick it up and move it. But anyway, this is how you get oil. It's just, from what I understand, it can take a while to actually find it. And it seems like it's a lot of moving it around and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I think... Oh no, it that's the problem right there. I guess whenever I left and came back, it, it uh, quit running on us. So we'll give it just a second here, and then if we don't find something, um, we'll end the episode out there. But I kind of want to get some oil, just to be like, yippee, oil. Which I know we have, or no, I think we emptied out that barrel of uh, oil that we had at the base. I do believe, because we, when we made all that naphtha, we used a ton of it. So it is all running now and everything. Oh, yeah. And we're up to 5,000 natural gas here. Alright, I'm going to cut camera for just a minute while we wait for some natural gas, and then I'll be back in just a second. Okay, welcome back. Um, yeah, it seems like natural gas is going to be our primary jam in this uh, in this area. So, um, I think I'll probably just end up letting it get all the natural gas, because there, there is a use for it. So we might as well gather it while we're, we've already got it set up and everything. Um... So I'll probably let it gather it, and then I'll see about disassembling this, because, like, the mining pipe's a physical thing, so I'm assuming I can break it and just fly down there and get all the mining pipes, maybe. That's what I'm hoping. But I'll, um, I'll see about that and let you, go let you guys know maybe next episode if this finishes running um, and everything. So, um... But yeah, I'm going to end the episode out there, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'll be more than happy to answer them as best I can. Uh, to get the oil, you know, you can just set this up anywhere and you have a chance to get the heavy oil or the light oil. So, you know, there's really no difference in getting that as opposed to getting the natural gas. It's just a chance thing. Um, but, um, yeah, so... Anyway, I'm going to end the episode out there. As always, if you enjoyed it, please comment, like, subscribe. It's very, very much appreciated. And, um, and yeah, so until next episode, do take care, and I hope to see you then.